Hey y'all, I'm back today with another video. This one is going to be brought to you by the company My Quality Hair. But before I get started on all of the details, guys, please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It is free. And also turn those notifications on because you do not want to miss out on any of my videos. The unit that I will be showing you guys today is a curly bob unit. It is 14 inches in length, 150% in density. It is a natural hair color. And you do get your 13 by 6 inches of parting space. And then the cap size that I have is small. Now, this one also does come with a very nice pre-pucked hairline. Um, I love the way that it looks because you're not going to have to go in and do anything extra unless you just want to. And you get some baby hairs in the front for customization. Um, the lace on this is a medium brown color. You get two combs on the side, a comb in the back, and your adjustable strap. And guys, I was trying to see if it was bleached already because that is a very nice tint. So I don't think I'm going to have to go in and do anything extra as far as bleaching the knots, but we are going to see. And I washed the unit using my Aussie Moist Shampoo and Conditioner. And then this is what it is looking like on the mannequin head. It looks really good. And I decided to place it in a middle part just to kind of keep it very simple because I really wanted to show off the hairline. Now I'm just going to work on putting the unit on. Now you guys know I have worked with this company plenty of times before and I was getting their medium cap sizes at first but they were really big on my head. I am so happy that I have switched over to their smaller cap size because now it fits me really good. On cutting off the lace on the Shannon. Like I stated, I do have a medium lace color, but this unit does come in the lace color light, medium, transparent, and also dark brown. If you order the transparent and the dark brown, it is going to take an extra 40 days. Now I'm just going around and making sure to cut any excess lace off by my ear. And then I'm just double checking that everything looks good still. And then I'm just going to pull it up. I did style this unit on the mannequin head. So I was trying to make sure that everything was looking good still. I was really undecided on if I wanted to add some shorter hairs in the front. When styling it on the mannequin head, I decided to not do it because I wanted to place it on to really get an idea of what I was going for. But as you guys can see, I did decide to take out a little bit of hair around the hairline and then I cut them shorter and then I am just going to mold them using the She Is Bomb Fuse Foam. And you guys, I will make sure to leave all of the links down below to the products that I am using if I can find them. But I have really been loving this foam by now you should have seen me using it a bunch of times and you'll probably continue to see me using it unless i find something different to work with but yeah i'm just making sure to take a little bit of the foam and then just carve out the shorter hairs in the front and then i'll also carve it out on the side by my sideburns just to kind of conceal my sideburns because i'm not going to use any free spray and my sideburns have gotten really thicker i've been massaging my hairline with black castor oil and just making sure to keep it nice and clean. And I've noticed they've been getting thicker. I do not want to have to cut mine off. So I've noticed they've been showing a little bit more depending on the wig that I have been using lately. So I've been trying to make sure to conceal them without having to do anything extra to them. I am done I'm just going to mold everything down using my wig grip and then I'm just going to let everything set and dry and then I'm going to take my edge brush and just kind of comb over those areas just to make it look a little bit more soft and then also when I am done I am going to use my Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Serum to fluff the hair up this is also going to help control any frizziness sometimes you guys know with certain curly hair units is bound to get frizzy even over time is going to get frizzy so this is definitely going to help now for these curls i also use the she is bomb um, collection to mold the curls and that also does help to control any type of frizziness and set the hair i'm just combing over the top and making sure to fluff it up and then i will go around the hairline using my wax stick and just kind of press everything in just to make it look a little bit more sleeker I'm 
done making sure everything looks flat and pressed in, I will go in using my Ruby Kisses 3D Contour Creator Powder Palette. You can pick this up from your local beauty supply store. And I think I also have a link down below to Amazon. And I'm going in with the color light medium and just going into the parting space and around the hairline just to make it blend a little bit more. Of course, I saw this on the mannequin head. You guys know I'm not the best with middle parts. So it might just look a little bit crooked, but it look good still. This is the final look of this curly wig. It definitely came all together. It looks very pretty. Now the hair on this is very full. I have no complaints when it comes to the density on this. It just looks really nice. And you can definitely see a hint of the natural color. Now, if you are not a fan of natural color units and you like to go a little bit darker, they also offer this unit in the color one, one B. Like I stated, I do have 14 inches. You can get this in 16 inches if you want just a little bit more length. And then of course, if you want to go shorter on this unit, it does start at 10 inches. As far as the pre-plucked hairline goes in the parting space, the parting space looks good. I did not go in and pluck any extra hair out. Now the pre-plucked hairline, I think it looks nice. Of course, you style your hairline how you want to style your hairline. If you want to pluck it a little bit more, you go in and pluck it a little bit more. But I feel like this wig is very beginner friendly because there's not much that you are going to have to do to it. And you get a lot of parting space so you can be very versatile with this unit. If I have any cons with this wig, it would just be that I wish that the curls started a little bit higher up closer to the root area, but I still think that this came out really pretty. And like I said, it's very affordable. You definitely cannot beat the price. And I just think it looks cute and fluffy. Now I did get a little bit of shedding during the washing process. And also there will be some tangles in the nape area, but you already know then that is expected to happen with a curly unit, especially one this density. So guys, if you are feeling this unit, I will make sure to leave all the links down below. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn those notifications on, share this video guys, share, share, share. Sharing is caring. Like, and I will make sure to see you guys the next time. Bye guys.